Hey guys, welcome back. Let's look at our learning goal. So it says verify experimentally that dilation gives a center and a scale factor. So we've been kind of dancing around this. So let's write out our learning goal here, SRT 1.1. Dilation gives us, oh yeah, we can dilate. If given a center, and a scale factor. Okay, so what does that mean? Let's say I have an origin and let's say that's my center of dilation. Okay, let's say I have this shape right here and I wanna dilate it. Then the distance from the center, let's say I wanna triple, okay? Distance from the center, I wanna triple. So I'm trying to go the same length, okay? One more time, distance from the center. How far is this from the center? Here, and I'm gonna triple that. So another length that long and a third length that long. If I connect these lengths, the ends of these, notice that the shape is the same. It's still the same shape and the angles are the same. The angles are the same. This angle matches this angle. This angle matches this angle. This third angle matches this third angle and the sides make the same ratios. So if I had a measuring stick, this length is now three lengths longer. This length is now three lengths longer. This is what we mean when we say we can dilate if given a center and a scale factor. Voila. Okay, so let's answer some questions about this question. This, um, Learning rule says the dilation takes a line not passing through the center to a parallel line and leaves a line passing through the center unchanged. The dilation of a line is longer or shorter in the ratio given by the scale factor. Okay, so what do each of those mean? A dilation takes a line not passing through the center to a parallel line. So let's take, uh, again, back here to our drawing board, back in our notes in our notebook, we see that these lines, after I dilated it, are parallel. Don't these look like they are parallel? They're never gonna meet. So when I dilate, this line and this line are parallel. This line and this line are parallel. So we notice that when we dilate, it creates parallel lines between the pre-image and the image. That is our observation. Okay. And it also says these lengths are longer. That I pointed out. So what does that mean? That means if this length, AB, was the length of two, then this new length, one, two, three, because I went three units away from the center, it tripled the length. So let's say this is D and E. DE is two times three, or six units long. Why? Because Three is the scale factor because the side is three units, three, three times longer. Okay, I think we got it. Let's answer these four questions and call it a night. Question number one, a line passes through a point whose coordinates is one and five. So one, one, five, seven. Okay. A line that passes through the points whose coordinates are one, one, and five, seven is dilated by a scale factor of three centered at the origin. So what does that mean? This is one, one. Now we're gonna make it three, three. 
So what do we do there? It's original coordinate, I'll call A, and it's new coordinate, we just multiply it by three. So that's A, oh, excuse me, this was A, this is A prime. Right? All right, what was B? Let's call this B, and it was five, seven. And what is B prime? It would be times three times three. So it would be, it probably wouldn't even fit in our picture because it got so much bigger, 15 and 21. So this would be where the dot is. One, two, three, I almost fall off the page. This is where B, B, B prime is, 15, 21. So what can we say about what we've just drawn? It says the image of the line, the new line. Okay, so my new line, A prime to B prime. And where's my old line, A to B? Is perpendicular? No, the blue line and the green line are not perpendicular. It looks as if they are parallel to each other. All right, is it the original line? No, so we found our answer. They're parallel, and this aligns with this learning goal, doesn't it? Okay, question number two. In the diagram below, CD is the image, so this is our image, and AB is after we dilated it. What would be the scale factor if the center was E? Okay, so again, if we start here, this distance was doubled, so this was two, two, now it's three, three. Make sense? Here, I went over to four. Now I went over three, five. All right, so I have to decide how much longer did it get? So it is two. And now it is E A. So let's think about this. When we had our example before, and it went through the center, when this point was three times longer, we went one, two, three. See what I'm saying? So. It's the length of this original line divided by, so that's EC, divided by the length of the new line, EA. However, we have to do new first, divide by old. So in our notes before, it's our new length divided by our old length. That's what scale factor is. So the new length, EA, divided by the old EC. All right, what else could it be? Well, I could have picked this other one. So I could have put EB. So the scale factor would also equal EB. New, the new distance E is to B and the old ED. I could have also put this new length AB divided by the old length CD. So I look over here and I see if I can find any of these in my answer. Hmm, I don't see, I don't see it. So EC divided by EA, no. B A divided by E A, no. E A divided by B A, no. E A divided by E C, yes. All right, was that over? Oh, oh okay, that, that's, that's, a, that's actually the first one I mentioned. I didn't see it. All right, that's our scale factor. So it's new over old. It's either the new distance of the length of the object divided by the old length, or the distance that the new object is from the point of origin from the old item that moved. So I could take this new distance, divide by the old distance, 
New divide by old. New divide by old. The formula is new divide by old. All right, what do we have here? We have some coordinates. And then it says the square is dilated so that a prime is at 3, 1. So let's go ahead and graph this quickly. So we have a square, 3, negative 1, 5, negative 1, 5, 1. Okay, so here's our square. A, B, A, B, C, D. If this square is dilated so that A prime is 3, 1. Okay, so A prime is 3, 1. So that's also A prime. And C prime is 8. So 5, 6, 7, 8, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, C prime. Then our new shape went from 2 wide to two, three, four, five wide, right? So this likes a scale factor of five halves. What are the coordinates of D? Well, I've pretty much drawn it here. It looks like I went over three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up one. So over eight, up one. Is that one of my choices? Yes, it is. Okay, nice work. Last question, GH. I don't know where G is and H is, but it's one length long. A dilation with the center of H and a scale factor applied. What will be the length of the image of segment GH? All right, so we shrunk it half as long, right? So there's our new segment and we did it from H. How long would it be? Well, if it's half as long, it's 1 times 0.5, which would be 0.5. There's our answer. Thanks for joining us, guys. See you later.